Located in Kansas City's historic 18th and Vine District, the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum is the only museum in the world dedicated to celebrating and preserving the rich history of African American baseball. Ed Herman with Brown and Crouppen heads to the museum for this week's Taste and See. I, I want to hear about the story about how this place got started because it's the hundred year anniversary of the of the league but it's the 30 year anniversary yes. of the museum yes uh, to, tell me about that because i thought that was that was great it is such an improbable story because it, we started this museum in a little one room office across the street from where we currently operate the historic lincoln building we had a third floor office space I'm not lying, not much bigger than this area that we're standing in. It had a conference room table and guys like the late great Buck O'Neill and other local Negro Leaguers who were still with us at that time, literally took turns paying the monthly rent to keep the little office That's open. That's amazing. It is. And then where does most of your stuff come from? Because you've, you've got the real, the real deal yeah. here. You know, we, we looked at those, at the balls, the uniforms are the, my favorite part of the uniforms. I love seeing the uniforms. Yeah. Where do you get most of the stuff? Well, we've been very fortunate. And, and honestly, while we're celebrating 30 years as an institution, I wish we had started 30 years before that because we would likely have more stuff. Yeah. But I'd say 95% of the items that you see on display here were donated by the players and or their families. In a lot of ways, yeah. Kansas City being the birthplace of baseball. Because yeah. Cooperstown is great, but that's sort of the fiction. Yeah. Baseball yeah. wasn't invented in Cooperstown, no, but we've kind of bought into that. This started right here. Right. And, I, and literally right around the corner from where we are. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be emotional. It's, it's going to be a very moving experience when we go right back into that building where Rube Foster signed the Negro Leagues into existence. 100 years from the date that it happened, February 13th. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and it gives me goosebumps to think no, about it now. That's awesome. And to have that gathering as we announce to the world what our full plans are for a year-long centennial celebration. Some of them are things that we would normally do, but they'll be magnified because they fall under the umbrella of the 100th anniversary. But April 11th, we have our annual Jazz and Jackie celebration. On April 15th, we will unveil a brand new permanent exhibition called Barrier Breakers. And of course, April 15th is Robinson it's Day Robinson League Day, wide sure. in Major League Baseball. The Barrier Breaker exhibit will chronicle all of the players who broke their respective Major League teams color barriers. This has been great. Thank you so much. Really, Man, it's, it's fantastic. Pleasure.